The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, source of every human hope, we gather together today to celebrate dreams realized, the beginning of new dreams and the coming of your kingdom. Dreams that these graduates have discovered in their pursuit of truth and knowledge. We are once again reminded that your advent is near. We give thanks for these graduates who have heard your call to be light that will dispel the darkness, the light of hope, the light of peace, the light of joy, and the light of love. In your holy name we pray, amen. Please be seated. On behalf of the Board of Regents and the faculty and staff of Texas Lutheran University, I welcome you to this commencement ceremony for our December graduates. A special welcome to the families and friends of our graduates. We know this is a proud day for you. It's a proud day for us as well. We are pleased to have these members of the Board of Regents of Texas Lutheran with us today. Will you welcome, please, Robin Melvin, the chair of the board, Willie Stotts, vice chair of the board. Please stand and let us see you. <laughs> Willie Stotts, vice chair of the board, Judge Xavier Rodriguez, and Jim Hammond, a regent emeritus. Graduates, you may not realize how much of a mark you have made here at Texas Lutheran. TOU is not the same today as it was the day you first stepped onto the campus. TLU will not be the same next term without you. And you are not the same person as you were when you first entered here as a student. TLU has left a mark on you as well. There is something about you, who you are today and who you will be, that is forever tied to Texas Lutheran. We want you to come back. Don't be a stranger to this place. We will not say goodbye today. We will say farewell. Farewell is really the contraction of fare thee well. And that is our word for, thee, for you. Fare thee well. May it always be good for you. Fare thee well. We want good things for you. Fare thee well. We expect good things from you. And now it's my privilege to introduce our commencement speaker. You can read all about John Moline, the 13th president of Texas Lutheran University in the program. It is enough for me to add, John continues to be honored for his leadership here and the legacy he has left at Texas Lutheran. John continues to be respected for his integrity and his devotion to his family, to this university, to his church, and to this community. And John continues to be loved for his ever cheerful and positive spirit and his warmth as a human being. I am honored to introduce a friend and a colleague, the President Emeritus of Texas Lutheran University, Dr. John Moline.